Welcome to module five, where we will ask urban possibilities. How can digital imaginaries shape the future of African cities? For this final course module, we will depart from the usual format a little bit. As a roundup or in closing, we thought it would be really interesting to shift from inquiring into the present into a more expansive thinking towards the future. The primary focus of this module is very much about urban possibilities by exploring all of the ways in which digital imaginaries can shape the future of African cities. In previous modules, you were introduced to a diverse range of experts and professionals who stimulated your thinking on various aspects of the digital and by association, the impacts of this on the smart city concepts and developments. Before we move into our speculative projections, it's important to document the key concerns that emerged throughout this course. We will therefore kick off this module by looking into data ethics and governance. After this, we will discuss the landscape of innovation and creativity as it pertains to smart city thinking in African cities. We will begin with a conversation between Nancy Odendal and myself. We will provide an overview into five case studies curated by our research team here at the African Center for Cities, selected for their imaginative, creative combination of smart city thinking, real-world challenges, and utilization of digital technologies to address these. These five projects are Block by Block, a computer game based on Minecraft, which invites players to understand the complexities involved in public space planning and community building. Then we have a project using AI technology to map urban spaces in Lusaka, Zambia. Zlotto, a homegrown initiative designed by a group of young people, which helps other young people earn much needed social capital. A trip into the most expansive imagination of a Lelekan Jefus. I wouldn't say to preserve the element of surprise, but this is such a treat. And we round off with Nix McLean, a transdisciplinary researcher writing on digital technology and media and LGBTIAQ plus identities and communities from a post-structuralist, anti-racist, queer feminist lens who will take us through a dreaming process. I will return at the end of the module to draw together some threads across the module and the course as a whole. As before, catch you on the other side. Enjoy. Sarah Kidden, a technologist and researcher interested in how technology and society intersect, is a Marie Curie Research Fellow at the University of Dundee and Mozilla's Open Design of Trusted Things Open Dot program, who advocates for connected products that are more open, secure, and trustworthy. She is also a RANIP Fellow with Research ICT Africa, where she works on gender and AI from an African perspective. Sarah will, will unpack the concept of Internet of Things, IoT, and how this factors into our understanding of smart cities. Sarah will also detail some of the promises and critiques of IoT in the context of smart cities in Africa. That's perfect. Okay. Then you, you might even just change the first sentence and keep the rest from before. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then summary and teaser, module two. Sarah Kidden's framing of what constitutes the Internet of Things and how this concept is factored into smart city thinking in Africa makes a compelling case for why we need to think critically about the necessity and utility of this terminology. Sarah's note of caution relating to the issues of trust are echoed in almost all of the sections that follow her own, which points to the importance of this consideration. Okay, Perfect. then on to module five. a homegrown initiative designed by a group of young people which helps other young people earn much needed social capital. And then summary and teaser, module five. Zlotto was a total joy. 
This hyperlocal offer really embodies the principles of socially engaged methodologies. In so doing, it provides connections and empowers its clients. Okay, that's perfect.